Another war came crashing down on our bodies. The cut of a broken piece and the bite of a broken promise are the same, except with the first one that follows and takes everyone around you. Back home, our skin is green because we're full of life. A full life looks so different when it's poured out onto the rubble, rotting in the streets. Every university became a grave, every garden a final resting place. Our brothers and sisters fall faster than we can dig the holes. Bodies burned, singed to soil, bloodlines turned to nothing, to sand, to ashes, to dust. On the receiving end of the bullet is a little girl, a mother, a family, a home, a brother. Airstrikes, Sakoi, Dana, airstrikes, Sakoi, Dana. Blood in the streets of Khartoum and Lubaid. Blood in the wadis of Niala and Ajnana in the mountains of El Fashid, in the pyramids of Marawi, blood across the skies of our beautiful country, Sudan, Beledi. Who did this to you, my love? Who stripped you bare and turned all your children loose? The bodies fall, they don't stop, the killing starts, we don't run, hoping against hope that it's a mistake, that if we sit quiet and still enough, maybe it'll stop, that if our hearts beat loud enough, they'll know that we're human, that we bleed the same blood, that we bleed the same blood. Who decides who lives or dies? My uncle Abdaziz walked home from prayer. The bomb soared down from above, took him and four neighbors away from us. Sunrise saw my cousin Ammar on the way to college. My uncle Ibrahim resting at home. Each found a bullet, each found an end. My uncle Ibrahim Ahmed lost his life when the hospital shuddered. It became more dangerous than the disease that robbed him. I held my mother as we cried for her brother, for all of our people across Sudan. Our families broke fast together one night and slept, planned burials together by morning. The next day comes and there's nowhere to run. My country falls to pieces and my people go missing one by one. Roads covered, rubble still bleeding, sent to the bottom of a crater, reduced to a footnote in a world said to be in crisis. First orphans, now refugees. Home is burning for the first time, the second or the third. Home is burning. See the buildings falling, see the fire flashing. Hear the people evaporating before our eyes. The hospitals filled with the wounded and our lungs filled with ash and the hospitals closed and the borders too. And the headlines named our killers, but not us. And the world keeps moving and the people whisper it's a mystery and their names turn to memories in our mouths. Their names turn to memories in our mouths. A country without its people a people robbed of time. How can I explain what it's like to sleep and not wake up, or to wake up and know that it happened again? And your oceans away, crying, pleading, praying for our voices to be heard, dying for our lives, literally dying for our lives. In my country, wars have ended, but peace has never come. Who pulled the trigger? Who bought the bullets? Who sold the guns? Who decides who lives or dies? Who decides who lives or dies? Who will stop the war? Who will bring the peace? Tell me how to make it stop. Tell me how to make it stop. Sudan, Baladi. Who did this to you, my love?